Well, hi guys, welcome to Gun News and Reviews. I'm your host, David Drake. We did a tabletop review of this new Henry Long Ranger Express, which is in 223556. I had commented on how well balanced it was and how it seemed like it would handle well. Well, today we're taking some first shots couple caveats it was primarily just to get this optic system basic zeroed in at 25 yards so we're shooting indoors this is really not the best use distance wise although you know if you have a coyote that's at 25 yards um, I wouldn't put this down and grab something else so we're going to take our very first shots as we zero this in magazine fits in clicks into place uh and and seems fairly secure it's a good thing first thing i noticed right off the bat is where's the recoil and there absolutely is none as i mentioned it balances very well and keeping the barrel on target not hard initial impressions about this though um no felt recoil at all i mean the round itself doesn't lend itself to that but in addition to that you just don't feel it the gun is fairly fairly heavy at seven pounds for its size and it absorbs a lot of that and uh, so that part no problem uh comment on the action when firing you do have to really exaggerate your forward motion to make the cycle work if you want to shoot at a at a faster steady pace to to make it feed if you just go down this far you're not getting anywhere so you a little bit exaggerated but once you know that it's not a problem um Accuracy wise, as you'll see from our results, um, they're indoor, standing, shooting, and uh, not really a comment on what this barrel's capable of. We're hoping to get out once the weather clears uh, here in the next few weeks and do some longer range shooting and, and see. Now, keep it in mind, we're also testing this Holosun optic. So you've got a new firearm with a new trigger and a new optic. But all, all in all, just the, the basic handling, you don't need to lower it from your shoulder to cycle it, but you do need to go a little bit farther forward than you might be used to. Uh, and that's just a function of cycling this particular round. It took five rounds to get it sighted in, and once I did, these are the kind of standing groups I was getting at 25 yards. The uh, optic responded well to the clicks and pretty much did what you needed to when you made changes. You're going to notice that uh, this kicks out a pretty decent fireball. Of course, having a 16 and a half inch barrel without any kind of flash suppressor, that's what you'd expect. We'll probably look and see what type of shorter profile flash suppressors would work with this. I'm, I'm totally not against that idea. I just don't want to add too much to the overall length of the firearm. But you can get an idea at 25 yards standing using the optic. We're using the circle with the two MOA dot in the middle and even at the smaller targets. So let's see how we did. Five round capacity for this type of rifle is perfectly fine. I'll probably pick up an extra magazine to keep in my pocket. And you can see our results there standing at 25 yards. So not bad. This firearm uh, today saw 60 rounds in probably about 45 minutes time. And yes, the barrel did heat up. I did not notice the groups opening up. So that's a good thing. I can see this as having an application, certainly for, for taking out varmints at distance. I don't know how effective the distance of this optic is gonna be, but we will test that out and we will let you know. I want to thank you for joining me today on Gun News and Reviews and taking a look at this, Henry. I think we're going to have this featured probably in various videos just because of its many potential uses. It may be, wait for it, the ultimate truck gun. Too early to say. For Gun News and Reviews, I'm David Drake. To see more reviews as well as gun news in five minutes or less, please like and subscribe.